All right. Well, here are some instructions, helpful tips for using Resly to get your science work done. So when you log in, uh, you're going to click on, well, let me back up and, and show that from educatoral.com. Remember, the secret place to uh, find the link is my welcome bitmoji. So you can click on that, or you can just type portal.resly.com. And since I already logged in, it's going straight to mine. Your login is the first part of your Google account. Nothing after the, the at student.csd49.org. So it's just your graduation year first initial dot last name and then your password is your normal password now when you first log in you'll see here uh, introduction to sixth grade science it's the only available quest there's zero in progress see nothing there zero completed so this is the one you have to start so this tells you a quick idea of what you're going to be learning here what is Resly how do I use it so you click on start quest now, when you start a quest, you're going to read what it tells you to do. Uh, and this one says, before we begin, please answer these questions. It's a survey that I want you to fill out. So you're going to answer all the questions on this survey. And this part's really important. When you click Submit, make sure that everything disappears. And when you scroll to the top, it gives you a message saying your survey was submitted. That's the first thing you want to check when you click Submit. Otherwise, if you leave one of those, like this one, you didn't check it, but you checked this one, watch what happens when you try to submit. It's going to say, this is a required question, and it won't submit it because you didn't finish answering all the questions. So that's the first thing you want to check. Second thing is make sure right here it's your account. Because if it's got somebody else's name on it, then you'll submit it and somebody else will get credit for it. I'll think somebody else did it. Now, you did sign into Resly, but this is a Google form, so you can be signed into Resly with your account. But if the computer is signed into Google with somebody else's, then uh, it won't be you. So you'll have to click on switch account and make sure you are signed in as you. Once you get to the bottom, see here, submission details. These are very important. This tells you what to do to get the quest completed and approved by me. That's how you get XP for it. So it says here, click on complete when you are ready to begin questing in science. In order to submit this quest, type, I'm ready to begin my adventure in science this year in the submit box. You have to type something in order to submit this quest. So I click complete. And look, there's the message again. That way, if you forgot, you can read it. So I type, I am ready to begin my adventure in science this year. And that's the sound that shows you have completed a quest. Now, some quests, you submit them, um, and the next quest will unlock. Others, you have to wait for me to approve them because I have to make sure you did your work correctly and give you feedback to help you fix it if you did not. So this one took me, let's say to fill the survey, took me five minutes. And let's say I thought, great questions, Mr. G, thank you. I'll give it five stars. And then you submit again. Whoa, look at this. I now have one quest completed over here, five quests available. So now that I've got these quests available, I can do them in any order. Now, how do we know about something if we can't see, hear, or feel it? Let's start this one. And you're going to see there's some stuff to do here. Okay? So you're going to make sure you, you follow these instructions. But when we actually do the activity, we're going to do it together. Because I've got to give you these cubes. And you have to work as a team. Otherwise, it's going to be... A little bit difficult. So this one, oh darn, I can't finish it right now. I can start it. I can sign up for the Google Classroom, but I can't finish it. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna drop it. You don't have to drop the quest because you'll do it later. 
So I'll click on quests again. Now look where it moved. I've got one quest in progress, one completed, four available. So I'm going back to my four available. Which one do I want to do next? What's this tell your parents? Parent communication. Well, let's start it and check it out. Oh, this is Blooms. Hey, my mom signed up for Blooms, so guess what? I'm going to complete it because I already did it. It says once your parents have signed up for Blooms for your class, click complete, then type that your parents are signed up, then click submit. My parents signed up. Submit. Well, that one took me less than five minutes, uh, and it was... Yeah, it's okay. You know, it was an easy quest. Why wouldn't I give it five stars? It went to completed. But notice this one now has a yellow pending approval. I haven't gotten the XP for this one yet because Mr. G has to check and make sure that my mom actually did sign up. So right now I've only got five XP and five out of 75 before I level up from new 6th grader to, uh, oh, these aren't the right ones. Your ranks will be different. Uh, it's not the gamification ranks, so it won't be noob or any of that stuff. That's yeah, odd. It's giving me the wrong ones. But hopefully yours will show the correct ones. Now let me show you what happens when I... Let's see, where's Resley? When I check your quests. So as a teacher, I go to Quest Approver and I go, Oh, look, I've got a student quest to approve. And then I check with this student, Test 3, and I go, Oh, Test 3, your parents haven't signed up yet. They may have told you they did, but they didn't do it yet. So I'm going to write, Check with your parents and help them sign up. So I'm returning this. Watch what that looks like on Resley. So student goes back to Resley, and they sign in again. Do you see a difference here? What happened? Available is at 3. In progress is now at 2. Completed is at 1. And look at here. Tell your parents says needs attention. If you see this needs attention on a quest, that means I, your teacher, Mr. Gonzalez, have given you some feedback. So click on it, scroll down, and read what I wrote. And you're like, oh no, I thought my parents signed up. So when you go home, help them find that Bloom's handout I gave you and go through the steps. Uh, make sure they download the app because that's so much easier, so much fun. And... Um, once you do that, here's what you do. You come back to class the next day. You click on resubmit. You go back to complete. And you tell your teacher, this time I helped and we are really signed up for blooms. And then wait for me to check it because I get an email when your parents sign up and I will know. So this time, Mr. G goes, I have a quest to approve. Oh, this is test three. Oh yes, look, test three's parent has signed up. There they are. Oh, look at all these parents. Oh yes, isn't this wonderful? I love seeing all the parents there who have signed up. And then I will go, approve, good job, test three. And that person will now get their XP. Watch this. Click on quests again, and now I'm going to reload. Oh, look at that, I went from 5 XP to 40. I'm close to leveling up. So I go back to available, and I work on these other quests. I mean, any quest you do, you just have to read what it says and do it. This has instructions. It's got a video. And, um, yeah. It's all ready for you here. So there you have it. If you have any questions, ask your teammates. If they don't know, as a team, call me over or come see me and I will help you.